what's up gemini thanks for watching appreciate it this is gonna be a reading for your immediate future the situation any obstacles in your way and the outcome of that situation so keep in mind that the energies can go both ways. This could be your energy or the energy of the person you're dealing with, somebody around you. Could be an earth sign or a water sign. So, oh shoot, so flip it, I need to. Also remember, it's a general reading. So just take what's yours, leave the rest behind. <clears throat> Excuse me. If it does resonate, please make sure that you like and subscribe below. Also, if you guys like to contact me for a personal reading, all that's below as well. All right, immediate future for the gems. You got the Seven of Wands and the Seven of Swords right at the bottom of the deck. So it's a good time for like reflection, remembering where you want you've been, where it is that you're trying to go, what it is that you want. Our immediate future for the gems. What's coming up, please? Thank you. The Ace of Wands. Uh, Sagittarius also had that card. I think. Oh. 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 All right. Well, endings to beginnings, like, real quick. Uh, you got the Ace of Wands is where we're starting, right? So the Ace of Wands can be a couple of things. It can be just an idea, something that's kind of like quick there. The Ace of Wands can also be like, think about it like a candle flame. You blow it out and then it, you light it, blow it out, and then there's this ending. And then we're ending with the Page of Swords. So um, for some, um, and we got to clarify, it's coming across like there's a, a message or an idea or something that's like conveyed here. And it might get read all wrong or taken all wrong. All right, let's just see. Show me this Ace of Wands for Gemini, please. What is this? The Ace of Cups. We have two Aces over here. Aces represent new beginnings. The Ace of Cups is love or just an overflowing amount of love. Hmm. All right, give me one more for these aces. Then we might have to clarify those, like, individually. The Eight of Pentacles. You're working towards something over here. Whether it's, I mean, it could be love. It could be a new idea. It could be two things going on. And But, I mean, the effort is being put in. You're working towards that goal. You're manifesting it. But you may have a choice here with the Two of Wands. Um, we're going to see how these cards play out and then we might come back and clarify those individually. What is this Ten of Swords? What ended or is ending? This is coming in as the obstacle. The Five of Pentacles. Oh my goodness. All right. Um... Something's ending either because of like a financial situation or somebody's just ghosting. Like, oh my goodness, messages are just coming all the way through. Like, a oh. Financially, like especially around business, if you run a business or something. Um, uh, I hate that that's coming across. Show me that Ten of Swords. This also could be a person who's kind of just ghosted. Uh, communication could kind of be all over the place. Um, <clears throat> there could have be, like I said, some type of financial setbacks. This is a strong ending type energy. And it looks like there or a situation that caused some financial um, setbacks. And it looks like there is some regret around that. Like the grass wasn't greener. Is how it's coming across. So to fuck. Be mindful of gossip. Who you're telling your business to. Because this just kind of keeps intensifying right here. Um, 
two ways basically okay this looks like either somebody who ghosted who kind of just like abandoned things things could have ended communication could have kind of went all over the place um somebody could have either even been like you know like i said there could have been gossip but this is somebody regretting that and you know wanting it back wanting these new beginnings but also it's possible you know something happened here and somebody like there was some type of, like I said, financial setback. And there's there's a lot of guilt and uh, regret around that. Show me this page of swords for the outcome, please. For Gemini. The Queen of Pentacles. Could be dealing with the Earth sign. But also, um... Yeah, kind of, we're ending with kind of a stubborn energy here. Meaning one that's just not going to take very uh, kindly to probably be treated like that. You could have, um, you know, kind of been, it's like when people take your kindness for a weakness type thing. So you may not be as quick to forgive. Pretty much. You got the Queen of Pentacles in the world. You're making change here. You're allowing room for change. You're putting boundaries on situations. And then there's going to come this apology. There will be communication this year. Unexpectedly. Um, but it looks like it comes after you make some type of change. If, if it hasn't started already, but yeah, I mean, it looks like you're eventually going to have a past person not too far off, kind of coming back, apologizing, this king of wands, the devil, the three of swords, somebody could have been, in some situations, like a real asshole, uh, things could have even got physical, but if this is an apology and things like that, uh, for some, it, like, it's heartfelt, but something here make you kind of go, like, on constant rotation also kind of got like a little spying and stalking energy here for the outcome all right gemini i hope this helped if it resonated please make sure that you like and subscribe below if you guys like to contact me for a personal reading that information's below as well you guys take care and i will see you next time bye